So today is Wednesday. We had um, we had pizza junkies, the best pizza in town. On our team, we worked on pneumatics last night. Really, for the first time, we got we we should have been working on this before now. But we purchased our pneumatics. That we weighed all the components with our pneumatic system, and we're using five double solen we're using five double solenoids, um, two tanks, hump, and the needed pneumatics, and we're under six pounds with that system. So that gives you an idea of what it takes to run five double solenoids and all the air prep ahead of those solenoids. But that gives, we have six pounds to mess with. And that doesn't include the cylinders. So while you consider a pneumatic system, please know that it does take some weight. I mean, ours is costing us six pounds, and that's good to know as you budget your weight for your robot. One of the hot topics is green compliant wheels, or 35 durometer TPU compliant wheels. The material is coming in soon and these should should be available to order on Monday. I think that's the 12th. So Monday the 12th of February, is that right? Monday the 12th, these should be available. I did see a really interesting blog post by Frank and Don, uh -huh. president of FIRST, came out with a blog post to talk about Festival of Champions and also the alignment of the fields and the divisions at both the World Championships, Detroit and Houston. Mm. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna align all the fields so that you can look down the length of all the fields and see all of the divisions lined up together. That way, if you're sitting on one field, you can actually see some of the matches on the adjacent field or maybe two fields over. That will be good for the spectators. Also, I hope that they're gonna lay out the, the pits so that the pits are closer to the fields this year. I think the, the intent here is to give the chance of having more people see different matches on different fields and they're going to have some of the matches on the Einstein level of competition on those fields before they take the final two alliances to the, the ballparks or the, the sports arenas. Check out the blog post. It explains those layouts. Also, Don wrote a very important letter regarding the, the future or lack thereof of the Festival of Champions. He talked about the decision to not have Festival of Champions anymore in the summer and why it's not taking place. Also, I heard during lunch today that season three of BattleBots is coming back on. So for those of you guys and gals who are involved with BattleBots, good for you that you're gonna get to play again for season three. And for us, the spectators, we'll be able to watch and cheer on our favorite bots uh, as they as they fight within the square. Something I wanna announce also, we, we talked, we teased this last, last show, but let's talk about breaking your robot. So we're going to have a break your bot contest and you're gonna to need to film your robot functioning so you can catch it when it breaks. So you can film the moment that it breaks and we, we wanna encourage you to do that because it's great to break your robot right now before the end of build season or between now and the end of build season. And um, maybe we can like break some some uh, fuel balls or something. But this is why I have my safety glasses on. So. Well, that didn't break. But um, maybe we can break something else. Like we can break a churro. You can get this. This is probably a one take thing here. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. So I broke a churro. Maybe you can break a, a really strong dowel rod. Yeah, let's let's break that. Try to bend this. No, that's kind of silly. Break your stuff and celebrate your breaks. Maybe you don't break it on purpose like I did. Break your robot early so you can fix it and break it again and fix it again. Hashtag break yo bot. Break Y O B O T. Use that in a tweet, Facebook post, Instagram, whatever you want to do. But get that to us so we can check out how you're breaking your robot. If you want to send us an email, that's good too. Contest at andymark.com. We are giving out two prizes to the winner. This is to the winner only. We'll pick a top four, but we're picking one final winner. We're gonna give them $250 Andymark credit. And then the second thing is a golden cube. You will get a golden Andymark like cube. Probably not pure gold, but it'll be a golden cube that will be your prize. <laughs> I expect you guys to do a lot better job than we did last year. We had some great entries last year, but I want more entries. There were a few great entries last year. We gotta have more. We'll pick our top four video entries, and then we'll put it out on a poll so the community will help decide the winner. I did see another team post their, their auto mode. Team 1418. Is that Vey Victon? What is 1418? 
FRC 1418 has a has a pretty cool auto mode out there. Actually, they're placing cubes on the scale in auto mode, and they're moving along. They back up against the outside perimeter, and they, they register against that perimeter, and then they go forward and place a, a cube on the scale. And it looked to me kind of like a move where you saw the students doing in, in first Lego League, where they, they're backing up against the fence of the 8x4 perimeter. So maybe that's where they got their inspiration. I don't know, but it's always good to look at the other programs, look at all types of programs, and see what other robots are doing within their programs and see how you can improve your team. So this is week five. This is probably the hardest time to get through things on your team. Some people call it the slump. I think Jim Zondag called this, the FRC season is like a V in excitement where you, you start really high in excitement, you go down into this valley of woe and frustration and hard times, and then you go back up to this peak of excitement when you bag your robot. I think maybe some teams are down here because things aren't going together quite as well as they wanted them to, but you can pick it up, you can get positive and move up to the top side of the V and finish off your build season. We'll see you Friday. We'll go out to lunch, I'm sure it's somewhere which is my favorite place in town, and we'll have a good time. Until then, be safe, have fun, and we'll see you on Friday. With a Z. Yeah. Right. Okay, all right. So, so just if you use the hashtag break your bot, I said your, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> it was that. <laughs>